Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to hand sew a blind template. So let's go ahead and get started. So in the previous episode of So Not Scary, I had shown you guys how I had created the front neckline of a tunic top that we are stitching together. And to finish off the neckline, I had done an invisible stitch to lay the facing flat behind the front panel of the top. And uh, some of you had asked me how to do that, so I thought this will be the perfect opportunity to show you guys how I did the invisible stitch. It's very easy, and the idea behind it is that you cannot see the stitching from the front, okay? So to demonstrate that, here I've got a piece of um, old curtain fabric. Um, one edge is already finished, um, that was part of the finished curtain, but what I've done is, to show you a comparison, this is the original machine finished edge and on this side I folded the fabric over twice, see? It's a raw edge, I folded it over twice. And what I'm now going to do is do an invisible stitch along this edge and then we can compare how this feels or looks compared to the machine finished edge and what difference there is, okay? So let's do that. So here in my hand I've got a needle and it's threaded with cheap white thread. Here as you can see this isn't the highest quality Guterman or Coats Moon thread, it's like a generic, um, I believe it's a polyester thread, okay, from a nameless faceless brand. I don't know what brand it is, it was gifted to me. But because we're hand stitching, we don't necessarily need a very expensive thread. And I've threaded the needle, okay, but what I'm now doing is, look, I've got a single strand of thread and I'm just going to unravel my thread a little bit and just snip it, okay? Now, I'm not going to put two strands of thread together. The whole idea of invisible stitching is that you can hardly see the thread from the front. So I'm just going to take a single strand of thread and just make a knot here. Okay, there is my knot, okay? That should do. And essentially, we'll be sewing with a single strand of thread. Now, how do we do that? Take my needle, and here's the wrong end of our fabric. I'm going to first lock my stitches in place. So I'm just going to pass it a couple of th times through this folded over edge, okay? There, the thread is now locked in place. It's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Now this is what we have to do. I'm going to grab a tiny bit of the front fabric, okay? And lots of the back fabric. Here's what we're gonna do. Take my needle, just barely poke it to the other side. There it is coming out. I'm going to only grab like a titchy bit, maybe this bit, and just come back out again. Okay, and I know it's grabbed the front of my fabric there. Now we move on. Again, grab a tiny bit of the front fabric and a lot more of the back fabric. And there's our first single strand of stitching. And on the front, you'll see there's hardly anything there. Let's continue. So I've done a whole row of invisible stitches along the back of this fabric and I'm approaching the end so I'll just make one last stitch and I'll just knot the thread here. Ok, 
Okay, I've knotted the thread and now I'm going to bury the tail of the thread. So I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to run my needle on the inside of the fabric and just poke it out somewhere else, okay? So the tail of my thread is buried. I can now snip it off. There. Now let me give it a quick press and show you what this looks like. So there it is guys. This is the original line of stitching that was already there because it was a finished edge of one side of the old curtain I cut up. And now here is that invisible stitch that we just did, okay? And can you see there's hardly anything there to see on the front, but when I flip it over, you will see that all the action is actually on the back of the fabric, okay? So there is the backing. It's kind of like, almost like a herringbone pattern. There it is. Do you see? All the action is on the back. And the machine stitch line looks like this, and in contrast, that's what the invisible stitch line looks like on the back, okay? But the best thing is that it very effectively lays out any folded edges that you want to lay flat, okay? So it lays them perfectly flat. And when you flip it over on the front, there's hardly anything there to see, okay? So it's almost like something is holding the fabric down, but you can't really tell what, okay? And in comparison, up close, you can see that you can see a lot more of the machine stitching compared to the invisible stitching, okay? So that's how you do an invisible stitch. I hope you found today's tutorial helpful and that it will encourage you to go ahead and create the front neckline of the top that you are sewing without any fear, without thinking that, oh, this is too hard because it's not. It was my very first neckline as well. So yeah, go ahead, give it a try. Uh, do an invisible stitch on any raw edge of a piece of fabric. Practice your needlework and I shall see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!